hi welcome back to mrs always right channel hello everybody wherever you are good afternoon evening morning wherever you are around the world i am here to say hello again and welcome back to mrs always right channel so how is everybody doing as usual today i spend the whole day being lazy about in the house because this is the only day i had <coughs> for my day off so guess what i was late to wake up i did everything in the morning sort everything out that i supposed to do since last two weeks so everything came in in like a kind of relaxing day for me so i did really enjoy my day and also i have another maybe i don't know when i will be having another day two days off in a row so yesterday and today was a day i just being lazy spoiling myself so by the way let me introduce myself again this is mrs always right channel and this channel we have so many things we do it's a kind of like we call it mixed grade we mix everything up we do scripture we talk about god we share the gospel we sing we dance and also we also talk about where we live around and also like a kind of uh, so i'm going to bring in holiday something about going to seaside so we have so many things in this channel and god first in this channel so I'm going to use this opportunity as well now to say a very big thank you to God and also use this opportunity to talk about um, just to pay condolence to one Nigerian young uh, um, singer who just passed away a few days ago so there's a lot of questions around in nigeria how and when and what is happening so i am going to let you know let me just say uh, answer this call so i'm going to give you update about it so Hello. You know what? I was just trying to call you. Said so that when I yeah, when I'm on my video, I won't disturb you. So give me another okay. ten minutes. I will call you. Yeah, because I'm on. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'll call you back. Okay, then thank you. So I just had a phone call coming, but I just don't want to talk up on the phone now. So we just have so many drama, a lot of things. It's so sad and very distressing. So I don't want to share it here, but I just say, may he so rest in peace. His name is Mobat. So there's a lot of things that happened. So it's all over the social media, which everybody is sharing it. So I've watched it several times. It broke my heart and I feel so much distress and worried about it, how it all ended. So it's good for us to pay attention when people are in trouble when people are crying out for help it's good for us to show that attention he called he cried out several times but i don't know how they miss it even went to just protection guide uh, uh, something from god for his life to be saved but there was no help at all so now you could see how very very everybody is quite very worried and very angry about how that situation was not help they didn't help him when he was crying out loud so i just use this opportunity to pray for god to give him peace wherever he goes because he's so sad so that is how my own day was i spent the whole day watching and following up all the stories about this young guy so that is how life is now you have now you can see how much people are there for him 
but when he was crying out there was no help but i don't know how everything just went like that nobody saw what was coming so today i'm just going to share a word of god about having double mind do not be double minded that is going to be the word that is that is going to be the word i'm going to share today so i'm just going to talk about double minded some sorry about that i just can't i don't know what to do i'm just going to move it to a different so i just want to change something around in my So that is what I'm going to talk about, double-minded. So often in this world, there's always believers affirm their faith publicly. But when they are by themselves, they begin to question God. They begin to question God. They wonder, can he or will he really help? So the moment they start doubting, they begin wavering in faith. The Bible is clear about our wavering. How the Bible is clear about it, telling us how we should have faith in him. And in James, First James 1 verse 6 to 7 says when you ask you must believe and not doubt because the one that does doubt is like a wave of sea blown and tossed by the wind the person should not expect to receive anything from the Lord wow that did so what did that get? How and how do you get that? It says you must believe and not doubt. That sounds to me like a commandment. You cannot be wishy and washy in our faith. You cannot be wishy and washy in our faith. You cannot be doing that. Faith does not look at circumstances and does not regard feelings. It stays completely focused on God's word. We cannot allow our circumstances to speak louder to us than scriptures. We can sabotage our breakthrough in our circumstances by going by what we feel or what we see or what we hear know that we are not moved by those things we are moved by the spirit of God we say things like I thought I was healed or I thought God was listening or I thought I was getting breakthrough we must be assertive stand on the scripture declare the promise of healing deliverance prosperity for you god has done it we must speak it forth remember faith moves mountain not doubt again so i say faith I said faith moves mountain, not that we doubt more than we believe. That could have could be why we see no breakthrough. We walk and we talk of faith and we are walk. Get your talk of faith and your walk of faith in alignment with God's promise and God's word. We must trust God and confess of Confess what we are hoping and believing for. Call things not as they are, but as 
there shall be. If you're having trouble maintaining your confession of faith, it is because you have lost your focus on the word. When we are meditating and studying the word, it will come out in our words. If we don't study the words, it is impossible to have a clear confession. We cannot confess our faith in God's promise if we don't know what he has promised us. Staying focused will change our talk from what I can't do to what I can do. It will bring us from hopelessness of to hopefulness, from doubt to faith. We can do this. Let us refocus on God's promises and take our eyes off the circumstances. Have a blessed evening and be a blessing. Make your day and your night and everything count. So we have to pray that God should always guide, direct and guide us to have faith, to believe in him and trust in his timing. God bless you for listening. And please, this is me again saying a big thank you to everybody that is tuning in here and watching this program and watching our channel. May God continue to bless you and be blessed and don't forget to subscribe please to this channel and continue to watch our videos and have a wonderful night and good night bye bye and bye